Now, when I heard about this story, I was like, okay, what's going on with Halle Berry? Okay, um, why is everybody saying, you know, they picked a black woman? Halle Berry is biracial. What's going on? There's a big firestorm going on. And so I really looked at this young lady's name and she is Halle Bailey and she plays in the TV show Grownish. Now, I heard her sing. She has a beautiful voice and she is a beautiful young lady. But <clears throat> there is a hashtag called Not My Ariel <laughs> that it has popped up on um, Twitter. It's on Instagram. And there are buckets full of white tears being slung left and right because this girl has been picked to play Ariel from The Little Mermaid. <laughs> now I've watched Disney movies all my life. Every single princess never looked like me, um, but I still enjoyed the story. Did I wish that there was a Disney princess that looked like me? Of course. Of course, uh, when I was young, I wish that was the case. Um, people are saying, well, now we have Tiana. We were this close from not having Tiana because they wanted to make her biracial and just, you know, strip everything away from black women. But back to the Little Mermaid, um, I she has natural hair. Um, she's a gorgeous girl and she is undeniably black. Um, her skin tone is a little bit on the lighter side of brown. Um, and personally, you know, if she were dark skin, that would be wonderful. We do need a darker complected princess and um, images of women because there's all types of women of our different shades in our community that need to see themselves um, especially um, dark skin and brown skin women we have been shut out of the entertainment field and images everything you can tell by this situation people are up in arms saying you know um my ariel has red hair and blue eyes but the thing about it is walt disney has created nothing but white characters so it's not like they are losing um a historical figure one because mermaids are not real <laughs> they are not taking away the culture from anyone because there is no culture based in the folklore of mermaids <laughs> and um you know this is not like a mulan because people were bringing up mulan people were bringing up pocahontas those um they're deep rooted in a specific people's culture that's not going to change and um, Ariel is not. This is a make-believe story. Um, there's never been mermaids found ever in life ever before. So, you know, the Little Mermaid can be anyone, any color, anything. But, of course, you have Caucasian people. They always want to be on spotlight. You have a lot of them who are racist. And they just flip out every time something like this happens. Um, I've heard a few different movies, like the Star Wars movie. They flipped out about, you know, that casting. <laughs> and then they also flipped out about a little girl. Um, I can't remember that exact movie, but everybody was up in arms. There was so many racist tweets about that. And, you know, this just shows a few things. And this is something that, you know, black people should keep in their back pocket when white people are sitting up here talking about oh I don't see color and I'm like okay so are you color blind do you run red lights do you not see the colors that you put on in the morning 
they say oh I don't see color okay you don't see color but you did notice that um, Ariel was Caucasian and now you're mad because Ariel will be played by a black female and she's a beautiful black female and the root of this is jealousy it really is jealousy because the people who are really here talking about this there are a few white men that I've seen um, comment on this but the overwhelming majority are Caucasian females and I've seen black men you know caping saying some ridiculous stuff um, saying that this had to do with Greek um, history one said and then another said that it had to do with Belgium <laughs> history and I'm like how how can a half human half fish be rooted in any type of history when they are not even real <laughs> they are part of folklore <laughs> it's just like um unicorns not to be confused with unicornus because the unicornist that's a real thing but unicorns with um the mythological creature um pegasus that that's not real that's based in folklore <laughs> um but i am loving every single teardrop and i am enjoying it with lemon and honey because for so long for so long they have been comfortable with other characters being appropriated i think one of the ones that i will never get over that i was sitting down i was like you know i'm gonna enjoy this i believe tom cruise may be a side character and i was hoping to see some actors um from an Asian background when I saw The Last Samurai starring Tom Cruise I was like I was in absolute shock that they had the nerve <laughs> to actually make Tom Cruise the main character of this movie um there's another movie there has been so many movies that have been whitewashed and nobody had a problem with it nobody was up in arms but when the people a part of the culture or the race said anything about it oh they were complaining there's no such thing as cultural appropriation people need to shut up people are just using the race card and what now so basically i would reverse that back to these caucasian people who are crying oh shut up it's not cultural appropriation tell me what culture this comes from and it's based off of and please do send me pictures of actual fossils of mermaids if you saying that this is a mythical you know creature slash human please send me the fossils or send me the pictures of recent mermaids that you can find i mean this this has gotten out of hand they are crying they're talking about she's amazing the backhanded compliment but forget that she's amazing it was a bad choice people are saying yes ariel is danish if you want a black mermaid just create one ariel is the only princess with red hair change completely the story of the mermaid princess who is just like the mother will the mother be black too the problem isn't that she is black it is that she is completely different from the ariel we know and somebody said uh you big mad you will be fine <laughs> you have your people who love to put on the cape for um Becky when she's crying this person said just because people don't want her as Ariel doesn't mean they're racist and then this person um, clapped back and said their reasoning for not wanting her as Ariel makes them racist it does 
it does make them racist because there's no historical um, mermaids that have ever lived ever. It's a folklore. And then um, I, it is not lost on me that Disney is trying to tap into black people's wallets. Um, they saw how good Black Panther did. They saw all the hype around Black Panther and they saw how much money Black Panther made uh, so they definitely want to keep um, tapping into the wallets of black people and I'm sure um, as long as they you know keep pandering to black people black people will go and support but I do understand wanting to support black actors and actresses when they get roles but then having a feeling like you, we know Disney is pandering and they just want the money. Um, they are a racist institution themselves. They have made several disgusting um, racist cartoons and that is not lost on me about this company. But there are ways to see the movie without supporting it, and I'll leave that there. But something that I notice, um, there's a lot of black people who are caping for these white tears. So you can really see just how many black people are mentally ill that they would set up here and they would in any way support you know it's always that black person off in the corner somewhere whether they're female or male and they are always trying to uplift and support and um coddle people in their ridiculousness because this is ridiculous to sit up here and cry over a fictional character that has absolutely no roots in history and to be mad because someone of a different race um, is playing her. That is so childish. It's like dealing with a two year old. And you know the worst part about this is, is this is not coming from children. This is not even coming from tweens. This is coming from full blown adults who remember this in their childhood as I do. And they are showing their racist ass on here and you can see it just shows their insecurity it shows their jealousy with black women uh beautiful black women and their intimidation it's on 10 right now it's past 10 right now because they see this beautiful girl and people her beauty overshadows the original area and they can't take it they can't stand it that the spotlight is on this woman and she is the face of beauty she will be playing a princess she will be the main character she will be the love interest she is the beautiful one and it is killing them it is burning them to their core People are saying, I don't like this. It's not a racist thing. It's just our childhood you're ruining. Ariel is not black. I can't approve. Nobody cares what you think. And this, this woman looks Asian. But, you know, there's there's quite a few different um, people who are commenting on this. But specifically, my childhood was ruined as well when they decided to cast Halle Berry and then they kept making Storm lighter and lighter. And that's why I never really watched uh, it because I was angry when I saw who they placed as Storm because I like Halle Berry in some of her movies. I do but she's not Storm. Storm is a very dark skinned female and she had the white hair. That's what made her beautiful. That is what made um, her character exciting. But they never showcased that um, ever. And so, you know, I was pissed off. So I was like, I'm not gonna support this. Okay, and saying that now you see how it feels.
now you see how it feels when somebody decide to go in and change something and you feel some type of way and there's nothing you can do about it and furthermore nobody cares about your tears all of the cultural appropriation that has been done by Caucasians and now they want to be pissed off over this movie the the last straw for me was the movie Noah and the movie Exodus now this comment really got me because um, they are really letting their racism and their little childish behavior show now this person says she looks more like Ursula to be honest looking at this profile picture you look more like Ursula but they um, would have no problems and wouldn't have said shit if a black female was cast as Ursula even though when I look at Ursula Ursula was a looked like a Caucasian female she had European features and from what I understand she was based off of a Caucasian drag queen and if you think about what's being said here they're saying you know black women are big and fat only that black women are ugly that black women look like men drag queens um, that's fucking insulting and for that Melissa McCartney is going to play Ursula and you see this person another ugly uh, Caucasian female who has a laugh emoji and then this person again says yeah right um, I forgot Obama changed Jesus ethnicity he's no longer Jewish and I have to stop it right there because um, Jewish is a religion I don't know where these people come up with ethnicity race and you know being Jewish like they're they're idiots you cannot take them seriously we're dealing with the low IQ here. They say he's black from Wakanda and this whole thing is trying to take shots. I, I don't know where that came from, but there is this thing where um, black people are saying that they are the original people. If you go back and you keep going back, the original people are of a darker race. That's just what it is. And if you look in your Bible, Jesus did not was not in that hot ass sun blending in with Nubian very dark skinned people there in the Middle East and Africa which um, Egypt is a part of Africa um, was not hidden there amongst all those dark dark people being white and not being found and killed I wish people would you know just use logic and common sense because if you read your biblical text you will see that it basically says the color and also if you look at the lost books um, the books that were taken out you will see that you know certain people it was told that certain people would change the image and the likeness of you know the biblical figures to look like themselves so this person is on one and this person said that they need to get out of the <laughs> out of here with the dumb comments but yeah these are the type of people and these are just regular people I'm sure they have black friends on their Instagram I am sure that they have uh, black co-workers and black people that they kiki and laugh in their face and this is what they think and say these people are crying so many tears and I am enjoying every drop they are setting up here saying you know they would rather have a black woman and there was a black woman who said this that they wanted Ursula to be a black woman um, they are mad because a black woman is um, basically the princess the beautiful one and it's just killing them people are bringing up Tiana 
um, one of the Disney princesses that are black. They wanted to change her biracial and nobody had a problem with it. People were saying, why do you want to cry about that? What's the problem? Um, they want to say that, but yet, um, they try and pretend like they don't see color. They try and pretend like they don't know how we're treated different. And, you know, this is why I don't take white people seriously. This is why I don't give a damn about their feelings. This is why I don't want to have conversations with them about any topic because they are on grade A bullshit. They know the difference in race. They know how we're treated. They know, um, the difference between black and white they understand all of this and there doesn't need to be any conversations when things come up because you see they understand it quite well here they're breaking down race they're breaking down ethnicity and all the while crying all over the place honestly i find it amazing how these people can appropriate every culture known to man but they're mad when someone does not appropriate any culture of theirs they're just used to seeing their likeness and their image in a position of beauty in a position of power in a position of leadership and they don't like it because it creates a fear in them it creates insecurity in them it creates jealousy in them because the truth is staring them in the face that when you see this young black girl who's going to play ariel she blows the original out of the water in any other caucasian actress that would have played her out of the water but i'll go ahead and leave it right here let me know what you think leave comments what you think about this hashtag not my ariel i probably will make another uh, video about this just going over the constant stream of comments here because i find it hilarious and i am loving every bit of it but uh, go ahead drop a comment and I will see you in the next one peace